I'm astrologer and life coach Penny Dix. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back if you're a regular visitor here. And if you've not been here before, welcome to you. And I would love it if you could subscribe and support my channel. So today I am bringing you one of my short heads up videos. And the subject for today, the 12th of December, is it the 12th of December already? My goodness, is about the sun. And the sun is in Sagittarius and it is making this lovely sextile, which is a really helpful aspect to the planet Saturn. So you might wonder why I'm highlighting this particular aspect. Well, partly because it's a good aspect. It's a helpful aspect. And so often the aspects that we've been having in astrology over the last few weeks, through few months, few years, have been so very challenging. So this is a day, the 12th, when actually there's some feel good energy around. First of all, let's look at the qualities of the sun because we don't often talk about the sun in astrology, even though without it, we, we can't really um, work out what anything is doing at all. But the sun, of course, is about our soul. It's about our identity. It rules Leo. It's about shining, quite simply. The sun shines. And, you know, it's so maybe this is a day actually where you can shine and be proud of the achievements that you've, you've achieved over the last year. You know, perhaps today is a time for reflection. The sun is in Sagittarius, which is also about education and truth. And that links in interestingly with Saturn in Aquarius, because Saturn, of course, which is about restraint or restrictions or containment structure is also the teacher planet. So, what can you learn today? Or how can you perhaps teach others that um, ab about something in their lives that they need to be made more aware of? What's interesting with this chart is that both Venus and Mercury, Venus our planet of love and relationship, Mercury our planet of communication, are both now in Capricorn and they're widely conjunct. So they're kind of nestled in between the Saturn and the Sun. And, you know, Venus and Mercury in Capricorn really gives a lovely opportunity for all of us to have some very kind of down to earth structured discussions with loved ones. And that fits in with the energy of this chart because it finds Venus and Mercury in the seventh house, which is the house of significant relationships. So it really is kind of underlining that with this energy of, of the sun sextiling Saturn, it's a chance to put down some really good firm roots with people you care about. And it's a chance to reflect and look at how far you've come with regard to others or another, or people that are very important in your life. Capricorn is a bit like the sign that has your back. They may be a little bit stoic and austere at times, but you know what? A Capricorn will always be there for you. And remember that Saturn in Aquarius rules Capricorn. So very much the energy of this particular heads up is about this opportunity from the sun's lovely aspect to Saturn to become more aware, to see the bigger picture. You know, Saturn is in Aquarius. Aquarius is about thinking outside the box. And it's about looking at the commitment that you can make to yourself. It may be that, you, that you're reflecting today on how you would like next year to unfold for you. And maybe that involves a certain 
kind of commitment to yourself, but also to others and to the hopes and wishes that you have that you want to manifest next year. Because also in this event chart, in that sector of the chart, which is to do with our hopes and wishes, is the planet Uranus that consequently rules Aquarius. It's in Taurus. This is about making your dreams concrete. So can you see how just with one small little aspect that could get lost along the way, the sun sex styling Saturn, all this can come out of it. So maybe we just need to sit down for 10 minutes today with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and, um, and just kind of think about what we want to achieve next year and whom perhaps we need to make our peace with before we say goodbye to 2022. So a little bit of food for thought. Thank you so much for joining me for this short heads up and I will be back soon. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye for now.